coffeewithgpa.com, we love coffee. So if you're new to this channel and you enjoy learning more about your favorite drinks to make at home, as well as some of the best products that money can buy currently, consider subscribing from the link below. Okay, so this time around we have another travel cup. You may have seen videos previously from the Stojo cup and also the Poly cup. This time we're looking at another collapsible offering from Paquito. Now the Paquito cup is a bit different to the Stojo in as much as the composition is slightly different, the look of it is definitely slightly different, but the way that it can be reused as several cups is also fairly different. Let's look inside, do an unboxing and see what we actually get. Okay, so just like the Stojo, it does actually have really simple, really minimalist packaging in terms of its physical size and its footprint, which is really important. Now, the first thing that strikes me about this, other than its flat size, which is really awesome, is actually how solid it feels. It's quite a solid plastic. Now, there's no harmful materials made in this. They're all BPA free. They're FDA approved processes as well. So you know that you're buying something sustainable and well, very eco-friendly actually. There's a nice mouthpiece at top that you literally just pull back to open up. Just like that. Now that's kind of cool because this is a really big cup, but it feels very solid. It feels very tactile, it's nice and soft, but it's also grippy, that's really big. If you're using this as a commuting tool or if you're using it to take to the gym first thing in the morning, having that bit of extra grip can be a real, real blessing. We can just twist open the screw top that feels very secure. That doesn't feel like you're unsure as to whether you're gonna end up losing something when you start to make a drink in this and more importantly, try and take a sip of drink for this as well. You can push the cup fully in to its closed position. So this will be all the way down. You can pull it out once for your espresso. And actually that'll make a fairly medium sized drink as well. You're gonna get around eight ounces on that which is quite smart. It doesn't mean you're limited to one drink and having tons of extra space on top of it. But then one more pull, and you've got your full 16 ounce cup there as well. Although I haven't tried it for tea, obvious reasons. But that's cool, that feels really, really good. And when you've got that on the table, I mean, it's gonna be moving around a bit because I'm deliberately trying to move it around a bit. But that's got a nice solid base. Some cups I've tried in the past feel a little bit wobbly as they go down, especially with a, a silicon based material, but that's really cool. I like that, that's really nice. Again, being a collapsible cup, we've also got that added bonus of just squashing that down and stowing that away in your backpack or your bag ready for work. So I guess the only thing left to do is to make a coffee and see how it actually works when we've got something amazing inside our new best friend. Cool. so there we have our coffee in our Paquito cup. So I've opted for the 12 ounce version, which is the medium one. So you've got the eight ounce for your espresso, 12 ounce for your slightly longer drinks, and then if you wanna go for something much bigger, you have your 16 ounce cups. Now it feels really good actually. One thing I really appreciate about this is that it does have an inbuilt insulation anyway. So the drinks that you're making are gonna stay warmer for a little bit longer than perhaps you'd expect from a collapsible or silicon styled cup anyway. And because of that built-in insulation, you are gonna feel like, although the cup's nice and warm, it doesn't actually burn your hands at all, which is great, because it's a fresh coffee. You might find on the odd occasion it can be a little bit too hot to touch, but you don't get that at all with this, which is, is really good. The thing I like about it the most though, is that stable base. It feels secure, so I feel like if I'm gonna commute into work on the train and I need a travel cup for that, I don't feel like this is gonna cause me any issues and fall over. The kind of more plastic part around the center, actually where the logo appears, acts as a heat sleeve. So I'm holding on to that. It feels warm to the touch, but it doesn't feel hot to the touch, which is really good. So I guess it's that part now where we have to see how usable it is when we're actually drinking from it. Yeah, perfect. That's awesome. It's a lovely cup of coffee anyway, but that's absolutely awesome. There's no massive overspill afterwards. I can be a bit clumsy with that, unfortunately. But that's just really good. It's a really cool little cup. I feel really pleased with that. One thing I wanna try though, and I'm really hoping this works, I feel like with any travel cup, they're gonna take a bit more of a beating than you would say you get from your cup at home, hopefully. 
I wonder what happens if this was to fall over. So the lid is done up tight, the mouthpiece is down. If I was to just knock that over, let's see what sort of attack that we get on that one. Ah, that's cool. So actually, still dry, no major problems on that, that's awesome. Tell you why that's good as well. Imagine you have taken this to the gym and you've got say a protein shake in it or you've got a pre-workout drink in it. The amount of times that we've kicked things over when we've been in the gym, not deliberately, but obviously we all make our mistakes, don't we? That would actually be real saving grace. If it fell over on the train, again, I don't feel too bad about that. I wanna try one more thing though. I wonder what happens, and I've not edited this at all. This is purely a, an exercise to see if it's gonna work or not. This is perhaps gonna give me a little bit more anxiety, but we'll try it anyway. I feel fairly good about the way that performed by knocking it over. What happens if we were to drop it off of a table or knock it from a fair height? Let's give it a little drop, shall we? Ah, oh. <laughs> fair play, that's really good. So with a proper drop, that's actually not created any mess. Super safe, super secure. Awesome, so that is a really big plus. That's very, very clever. Good stable base, lovely good insulated materials, real sustainable use, perfect cup to reuse every time you go and grab yourself a coffee. So buy one from one of the links below. Let me know what you think, what's your feedback? Have you got one of these? What's your view on it? Would you like to learn a little bit more? Check out the links below and leave your comments below as well. These are priced at around 12 to 14 pounds. Actually really good value for money. Try this as well this week. If you do have one of these cups or you wanna buy one, if you're going to your local independent, always good and always appropriate to support your local independent coffee shop, they'll give you a discount too. So check this Paquito cup out. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Stay tuned for lots more how-tos and videos on new products and enjoy your coffee, enjoy the rest of your weekend and we look forward to seeing you further in 2019. See you again soon.